Hello guys, my name is Andrew Snez, and welcome to this video. It was it's completely unplanned, and I've kind of got a project that I'm working on at the moment. Just need to dig a bit more sandstone up. But today's video is it's not focused around YouTube, like motivating yourself to do YouTube videos and all that jazz. Come up with ideas, blah blah blah. blah. Today I want to talk about something else. Um, an issue I've been facing a couple of last couple of days. Um, I think actually I think I've only missed one day this week. I think I've only missed one day, but I've been really drained lately, and I just haven't had the mo- I've lost all my motivation. Like, a few weeks ago, you probably remember, I had, a, like, a ton of motivation. I was, like, an unstoppable force. Just, I was bleeding it. But, for some reason, and I don't know why, I've completely lost it. And now I feel- I've been, you know, feeling really depressed lately as well. It's like, all my motivation, all my positivity has been drained out of my body. And I find myself wasting days, and it's, it's, depression's a weird thing. It's like, I really want to do, it's like, a lot of you can probably relate to this. You're like, sat there, and you're like, I really want to do insert activity here, or achieve, blah, blah, blah. And a day goes by, and you're no step closer, or you wasted the entire day, and you didn't do what you wanted to do. That's what I've been doing, and I've been getting more depressed depressed each day that I do it. So, it's a round circle, really. It feeds itself, and people say, oh, you know, just get up and do it, but it's hard, because you've got no motivation to do it. It's it, Your body just won't let you do it. No matter how hard you try, you cannot motivate not. You cannot motivate yourself to get up and just do this thing that you really want to do, apparently. And you really do sincerely want to do it. But you just can't encourage yourself or, you know, make it so you'll, you know, you can't make logic of it. It doesn't sound logical to actually try. And it's it's annoying. I, I completely understand it. Um, like, when I was, like, going about motivation, yeah, you need to just go for it, go for it, go for it. Right now, I, I, I know that. I know for a fact I have to do it. But I understand now. I, I, like, you forget this when you're not in the depressive phase. But I understand how people can just sit there and waste weeks, days, months doing absolutely nothing. And you feel depressed about it. But then you feel more depressed because you haven't done anything. You haven't done that thing you wanted to do. You didn't make that model or painting or drawing or the videos that you want to make but then I'm like sat here I'm like but you're doing it now and I'm like oh shit yeah you're right this is a second attempt by the way so I've I've given a lot of stuff a lot of thought um but yeah it's it's really really annoying it's one of those things you cannot possibly understand even people have gone through it themselves like me. Um, I don't think I mentioned this in videos before, but I know exactly what it's like to be at your lowest low. I've never said this before, but when I was in my first year at university, I literally got so suicidal. I was sat there, ready to, ready to end it. And I got in contact with my dad. He made me go to doctors. And then I, in, like, at the end, I ended up checked in for a few nights in a mental hospital. Which was, it, it, it was scary. It was very scary. I keep forgetting why I need to make a pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. It was very scary just going in there because it was like, those people that look like shells of their former selves. There was, was a guy just sat there like this, teacup in his hand on his lap, and he was just stood, sat there like, looking at like this. And it broke my heart just to see these people in, in such a state. And I found out after talking to one of the, the, uh, carers, he, he told me that a lot of these people were checked in by their own families because their families couldn't cope anymore with the state they'd, and they'd got into. Just like, I don't understand how you, it's, it's, it, it's depressing a feel to think about it. Like, how do you get to the stage where you, you cease to function properly? You don't think clearly, you don't, it's, like, after you've got out of that phase, you re you it scares you. Like, because you've been in that. You've been like that. Where you go through days or whatever. You don't think clearly. You're delusional. 
you know, think you obsessively come up with stupid imaginary stories that aren't true and you push them into yourself. You, you, you just keep pushing them and you act like it's true and you believe, you start believing these, these things that aren't true and you just fuck up all your relationships and I've done that before. These stupid illusions and it's, I don't know, I don't like saying it's not my fault because it feels like it is. I mean, it's debatable. Is it real? Like, if you're suffering from mental illness, like depression and anxiety issues, if you fuck up, is it your fault? Because part of me says, if I was talking to someone else, I'd be telling them, it's not your fault because you're suffering with these issues. But at the same time, it was partially my fault I was in that situation because I wasn't bloody doing anything. I was just sat there vegetating and it got worse and worse and worse. I need wood. And it just kept getting worse, and I wasn't doing anything to get myself out of it. But on the other hand, I did, because I, w I went to university to try and, you know, change my life. Because I was sat there in a minimum wage job getting £4.50 or whatever the hell the minimum wage for a 20-year-old was back then. And it that made me feel like shit, because I felt really undervalued. I felt like... You know, I was being paid peanuts, and I was like, "Hang on, I'm making this company like half a fa half a thousand pounds per day, and I get nine hundred a month full time." So I was just sat there, and I that went through my mind. I was like, "You know what? Screw this! I'm going to university," and I did, and that's the only reason that I'm here. Kinda. The only reason, the only reason I'm how I am now, I've, I'm more mature, I'm better at controlling these, these uh, just really shit feelings and thoughts. I'm getting better at controlling them. Um, but it's like it's, it's. I can see a lot of people would really struggle because that was my opportunity. A lot of people don't have that opportunity to suddenly, you know, go. I'm gonna do this and then change their lives. Like changing the environment, getting out of their or their their home that they're currently in depression depression with, and sometimes getting out of the current predicament, the location, is how you get out of your depression. But if you're depressed and you can't do anything about that because you're depressed, you're unmotivated to do it, and you're not getting kicks in the ass like I did, which was working a shit job and feeling like shit about it. But if you're like going around and you're not Hang on. Oh yeah, this is that gap underneath my house, isn't it? Yeah, I should probably do this. There we go. Um, I need my stairs. That's what I was doing. And basically, but you struggle. You struggle because you can't do anything about it. So I can't really offer advice to what anyone would do if they found themselves suffering from depressive thoughts and feelings and they were stuck in the house with no college or anything like that to better themselves with or even if it's just something to distract you like even if it's just join us at, at what you'd consider a silly club that you're not really interested in so i'm not really too keen on warhammer but i have warhammer and i used that i used to go to this warhammer club at the games workshop and i just go there for the hell of it i didn't know what the hell i was doing i didn't know warhammer at all i just went there just for the sole purpose of um, of getting myself out and socialising. And it's hard to just force yourself to do this stuff. You know, I can't explain to you how, you know, it, you will find it hard. But, oi, behave, son of a gun. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that basically I'm sat here, I know how you should just make yourself do it, just get out there and do it. But I understand how it's hard to not want to do it, to get in a slump. But part of me now, after discussing it and making this video, wants to just get out there and do it. Like, it's weird. I wasn't expecting that result. But right now, I just feel like, you know, get this video up. And that's that's probably what I was talking about before. You know, I sat there. Um, I'm just going to waste this glass. Screw it. Uh, boop. Huh. 
it I guess it's um the whole you know I want I want to do I really want to do this and then you don't do it and you feel depressed that you didn't do it I'm making a video now I was sat there on the floor just lying down and I was like hang on if I don't do a video today that will be two days this week that I've not done a video and when I don't do videos and I mess up my schedule I feel like crap about it I feel like absolute crap about it so this is this feels good it's it's like I'm achieving what I like it's not a big goal it's not a big achievement that everyone's going to appreciate but to me in my head it was a goal it was something I wanted to do it was it was on my to-do list you know it's like everyone has different priorities whether it's I want to eat this in the morning I want to get up early and stuff like that if you don't do it you feel like crap and even though it's a minor thing a sleeping's nice occasionally but you you'll have little things you want to do like maybe you want to do a drawing or a painting or something what I suggest now, if you're watching this right now, is at the end of this video, get your stuff together, clear your table, do, think about what you want to do, what is it that you wanted to do, what have you been think mean to do for so long, go on, if you can't get in the position where you can start doing it right away, get stuff prepared, get the materials you need, get the, get everything gathered together, and just go for it. Do it. Just do it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to render this video. I'm going to go up my nose. I'm going to upload this video. And I'm going to make this plush hat. Um, Ericsson, I want to thank you not only for this suggestion of making Dirt Frog a uh, plushy, which I'm going to make a baby's beanie hat for, a really small beanie hat with little flo frog eyes on top. But I want to thank you for this. If I didn't already, don't know if I have or not. He made this with the Angel Snares logo, which is also by Vendus, who's a really great guy. And I don't know if I've actually said that at the beginning of the video, because so many takes, you've, it, all, the t all the different takes you've had all merge into one in your head. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I want to talk about, is, you know, don't feel like shit because you feel like shit, I guess. You know, you're sat there, you're like, I'm depressed because I'm... And, and I feel like shit because I feel like shit. Good. Good. Don't worry about it. If you feel like shit, you can't help it. But at the same time, you kind of can. By just, you know, getting your... I'm just going to waste these slabs. I'm not going to use them on anything. Just get out and do it, dude. Just get out and do it. I'm going to get out and do it. You can get out and do it too. Um, Yeah. I'm going to stop rambling now. I want to wish you all the b absolute best. Whatever endeavours you may encounter, go do it. Go do it now, right now. S stop wasting your time on YouTube watching videos. If you're a YouTuber, make video. Hit record. Talk. Talk about... S Even if you don't know... Oh, what I don't know what game to do videos of. I'm sat here, and I just opened Minecraft and talked about you know, the things that are on my mind at the moment. You know, struggles I'm going through in, at the moment, because a lot of shit going on in my personal life. You know, I've got a kid in the way, small house, no room, my cousin's now moved in because his parents are assholes and kicked him out and disowned him. And everything's just gone to shit, really. And I'm really struggling to cope with it, which is a really weird thing to think, because it doesn't sound like anything that would really affect me like that. But I'm going to go do things. And I want everyone watching now, if you're still watching, do it. Go out there, do it right now. Do it. Stop watching this video here. Pause. Do it. Close your, sh close your web browsers. Get rid of all the distractions. Disconnect your phone from the internet. Do everything. And just do that one thing. And I promise you, I promise you, when you're sat there and you're doing your drawing, you're painting, f making your video like I am right now, you're going to feel good you're gonna feel good about yourself because even though even if it's not the best video it's not the best drawing or whatever it's not the best ever made you have done a thing that you've been meaning to do and that just shows that you're capable 
of of getting past it, getting past the feeling of feeling like shit. And if anything, that should make you proud. Because if you can feel like shit and then go from feeling like shit to doing the things that that's stopping you from doing, that's an achievement. That is a big achievement anyone could be proud of. So thank you all very much for watching. My name is Nadia Stairs. Till next time.